Today I have a fun customization video that most of you can do from home with some very simple things and some safety precautions and turn a wedge like this bulky wedge into to this, a customized fully etched Laker fan bokey. Now I have to make the solution we're gonna use for the etching. So I start off with some warm water. So this is as warm as my faucet will get it. And I'm gonna go ahead and add some vinegar. And now a lot of people use just water and salt or just vinegar and salt. Bread a lot and uh, this has worked for me, so I'm gonna continue with it. Now I, I just add, you wanna get as much salt as you can dissolve in there and the warm water is what's gonna really help it dissolve. So I'm just gonna go ahead and stir this up. All right, and about 30 seconds later, a little more salt added and I have a solution here. So that's part one. Now, other than my power source, I've made this little device to use as a conductor. Now it's just a bolt like pin wrapped in electric tape because I'm going to hold it here. I take about half of a cotton ball, wrap it around, then I have just some hanging wire here. So wrap it around, then I have hanging wire and I simply fasten it with that. So. Now we're on here pretty good. I can get water and conduct electricity. So the trick here with the vinyl, with the stencil, is to get a really nice prepped surface. So this one was done with acetone. It's a new wedge, so it didn't need to be sanded or done too much. Just acetone until it comes up clean. I have vin a vinyl stencil with transfer paper and I make sure it's stuck down really good. So I press in here, make sure my stencil's really good. Now I've seen people do it with nail polish and etch out a design. I've seen people do any kind of wax or any surface that'll just seal to the metal and then you can etch out your design. You could buy just vinyl and it's just a permanent vinyl. And if you have a really good hand, cut out your design with a knife or whatnot. Now it's on here really good. I'm gonna peel this away. And then I've got to just seal all the edges to make sure no fluid comes out the sides. Here's what we've got. We're ready to go outside. It's all taped off. It's stuck down real good and we should be ready to go. This is what I'll use to do the etching. It's a simple, very old battery charger. It has a two amp and a 10 amp setting. Now the two amp setting is a little safer, a little slower, doesn't heat up as much. And the 10 amp setting I occasionally will use if I want real fast etching. Okay, so for this next part, I'm gonna put my mask on when I actually start working. So I'm gonna go over kind of what I'll do ahead of time. But I've got my two clamps, hook my positive up to the golf club, make sure that's on there. And then I've got my tool here and I'm just gonna dip it in the water and run it across the surface. So you'll see it bubbling. You might see some discoloration and over time, so tricks with this, I wanna keep it moving around or not be in the same spot too long. It will heat up and you can get the vinyl peeling if it gets too hot. So I'll be careful of that, but here we go. So it's off right now, but I've been doing it for just a few seconds. You can already see the discoloration here. I'm gonna go ahead and continue with my mask back on. About a minute of etching in, I wanna go ahead and test it out. So clean it off. I'm just feeling the ridge, make sure there's a ridge everywhere. And there is, so I'm gonna go ahead and, I'm gonna go ahead and continue on and get it a little deeper. You can see the corrosion and nastiness here. I take a break every once in a while to kind of let it cool down, make sure it doesn't overheat. But I'm getting pretty close to done here. It etched pretty good. 
going to lose the vinyl up there. So we'll go ahead and turn it off, take it apart, and we'll go clean it up. I think here's the nasty mess I'm left with. I'm going to go ahead and clean it off, get all this off of here. can see that there's clearly an edge in there. Try to pick these out without scratching the metal too much. 